The most common question that I get asked as a certified sex educator that primarily works with vulva owners is how do I increase my drive? The thing that I want you to be mindful of in this question is that every body is different and every story is different. I like to start with determining whether it is a lack of body drive or a lack of brain drive. The brain is the largest sex organ. Hear that again. The brain is the largest sex organ. For penis owners, arousal is generally associated with a penile erection. They become aware of this and focus their attention on the idea of the penis being stimulated. But for vulva owners, the equivalent, the stiffening of the clitoris, isn't nearly as noticeable. And typically vulva owners are less aware of their genital response unless their genitals are actively being touched in that moment. Okay, so what do we do with that? We know that it takes vulva owners more to even realize that they're becoming sexually aroused than it does for penis owners, which is why I often hear this discrepancy specifically between heterosexual couples. My partner wants sex more often than I do. How do I increase my drive? Like I said previously, the brain is the largest sex organ. That is often where I like to start with it. Sure, I sell products that benefit the body piece and the physical response of arousal, but I believe that the brain is the very first step in this and way more important to start there versus trying to sell you something. When we think about the brain, it is important to know what makes your oxytocin spike. What makes you feel loved? What makes you feel at peace? What makes you feel excited? Do you prefer touch or talking or time or attention? There is no wrong answer to any of these, but these are really helpful insights to talk through with your partner to be able to engage in a way that benefits the brains and bodies involved. When we think about arousal, we can often see physical responses in the body but it usually takes exploration of that and often solo exploration to become more aware of what your body is doing. Awareness goes a long way for a vulva owner. Have you ever looked at your vulva? Not even with the intent of arousal, just to know your body and explore just to know your anatomy. I'm not asking you to share this with the entire world, but if you haven't done this before, I highly recommend doing so. Knowing your body is a necessary part of experiencing pleasure and being able to advocate for your own pleasure.